This is Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about Jason Kelsey. He believes that teams will start faking injuries due to the brotherly shove. Yes, y'all keep reminding me to say brotherly shove, not tush push. I promise I will work on it. Also, Robert Sloss said he's going to give Jalen Hurts 11 kisses. But let's get straight into it. All right, so before we get straight into it, you know, today Wednesday, so this is an Eagles like walk through a practice day and the Eagles to me take way too long to come out with the injury report. So I got this from one of the Eagles I could say beat writers or whatever you want to call it. So Dave said there were no Darius Slay there or no Justin Evans at practice, but Marlon T. It's a, a spectator. So he it looked like he did not practice. Darius Slay and Justin Nevins did not practice. But everybody else was there. I mean, the graphic right here shows Nicobe Dean and Cunningham working together. So majority of y'all might get what y'all want. It might be Dean and Cunningham starting going into week six. Um, I, I'm still against it. I, I'm not going to lie to y'all because... I'm such an underdog type guy, especially things I had to do or work up. Like it impresses me how Nicholas Murrow got cut. They had to sign him to the practice squad. He worked his way up and he's looking like a top three linebacker. That's impressive to me. You know, I don't think Nicobe Dean should be gifted the you know the role because we believe he can do exactly what Nicholas Morrow did because we believe he can do it. You got to show and prove, man. That's just my opinion. You know, I, I thought most of us thought it like that, but I, I don't know. I guess we don't. People think Nicobe Dean is just going to come in and duplicate what Morrow did. We will see, man. We will see because if he don't, if he don't, it's going to be problems. It, it is. I'm, I'm sorry. It just is. Uh, Sidney Brown was back. Looked like he was practicing as well. I definitely expect Sidney Brown to play this week. Um, so, yeah, that's why I got on the injury report. But the Slate thing surprised me and the Justin Nevis thing because I didn't hear nothing about Justin Nevis being Nick or even Slate being Nick. But like I said, I didn't get the injury report. Slay more than likely is probably like personal issues or something like that, or probably an illness or something like that. But again, I didn't hear anything about him being hurt. Even uh, Justin Evans, it could be personal illness or just a rest day. Today is Wednesday, so we will see when the uh, later report come out. When it comes out, I'll probably talk about it more tomorrow in depth because if mm, Darius Slay is hurt, I would say, honestly, not trying to sleep on the Jets because remember, the commanders got us last year. But if it's a game where it's those like, I right, slay is a little Nick, he could play. He's like 70 30. If it's a game he can somewhat take off and really get the rest, it will be the Jets game because then you got the Miami game coming up. So, um, yeah, I, I just hope he's not hurting in general. Even Justin Evans, you know, he was solid last game. If there's any game we he can take off, it'd be like right now, you know, get his body right. And then you got Sidney Brown more than likely coming back. He he get a, a role or a shot at the safety position. So, yeah. And right now, I believe they have uh, Roby and Bradbury on the outside. So that believes me, they're going to put Eli Ricks or Mario Goodrich on the inside. We, we will see how that will work. All right, so let's get into the topics. Uh, Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey kept it real. I was thinking it, but I'm like, man, I, I'm not sure. I believe this. When we do the tush push, we're going to convert whatever we convert. Touchdown, first down. I think there's going to be some guys laying there faking injuries because they want to get rid of it. And this is this is literally the only way you can get rid of it. There are a lot of reports that players are getting hurt doing this, but I honestly haven't seen any 
seen any besides the boneheaded Giants, but I haven't seen any players get hurt during this play at all on the defensive side or the offensive side. But there's going to be plays you're just going to be like, oh, man, he's faking the injury. He's faking the injury. That's the only way they could get rid of it, saying this, quote unquote, not safe. But let's listen to Jason Kelsey explain it. Three. I know that two Giants did get hurt last week. I will say, I've been watching quarterback sneaks for a while. Outside of Patrick Mahomes, like injuring his kneecap, there really haven't been that many injuries on this play. Yeah. But if there's a way that this play is going to be outlawed, this is how it's going to be. This is it, yeah. Yeah. And what I'm worried about is if I'm a defensive coach, any of these that I can, like, have a guy, like, go up limp on because I'm planning ahead for next year to try and stop offenses, I'm telling you, I swear, I guarantee guys are going to start faking injuries. It's going to start off minor injuries at first. But they're already thinking about how can we get this outlawed for next season? Because that's all they're doing. They're just complaining. And now guys are going to start faking injuries, just like they fake injuries in situations to stop you from going bolt. And it's nonsense. It's not a, it's not a play that has been historically a higher injury uh, chance of prevalence. Well, we, we don't want to get you riled. Yes. Very, very good explanation by Jason Kelsey. And I totally, totally agree with him, man. But the thing is, too, about this, what if somebody actually get hurt? And you know how us Eagles fans do when we feel like somebody stalling a drive or faking an injury. We will boo you. We will boo you. But if somebody really get hurt and um, prayers up for that guy, because he, if he's on the Eagles field, hell, probably as at his own home game might get booed by Eagles fans due to this. So, um. Yeah, Jason Kelsey just said what everybody else was thinking. I think more people was thinking that, like, well, I, I honestly believe people are just going to start faking injuries. And I think it's going to start with the Jets game. Why? Somebody just going to have a mystery his, mystery injury. I was about to say mystery history. Mystery injury. Watch. Why? Somebody just going to be like, oh, I'm hurt. Uh, I pulled the muscle. They come back, like, two plays later. I'm telling you, and then the NFL won't take more and more notes about it because there's going to be more and more complaints. And they can't do nothing this year. Next year, let's just be prepared. And then we're going to come out with some more innovative. So keep keep doing what y'all doing. All right, so let's get into the last topic. Uh, Robert Sla, man. Robert Sla said he's going to give Jalen Hurts 11 kisses. But let's listen to this clip. They're really good at it. I mean, it feels like the quarterback is wearing a bulletproof vest when you look at him. He's got all that padding on. But, uh, you know, whether they get it, we're going to do our best to try to stop it. And, you know, the quarterback's got his – and they do a lot of stuff off it too. They got reverses. They got pop passes. They got stretch plays. They, they do a lot. So you got to be sound. You got to be disciplined. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll do our best in that regard. And, but if the quarterback carries the ball, we got to give him 11 kisses Why and just you? figure out a way to do that. So. <laughs> Uh-huh. All right, so he was asked how he's going to stop the brotherly shove, and his explanation is like pretty much it's hard to stop it. I w- I'm just trying to summarize what he said. He's like, Well, you know, we're just going to give him 11 kisses, meaning he it is football, so I don't get mad when they be like, Yeah, we're going to try to light the dude up, or I don't like when they say they want to hurt the guy, but. I get what he's saying. Like, we're going to light him up, make him think of, think about doing it. Like, do he want to get hit like this? No, they try to scare him with those type of tactics. Well, Jets, I think y'all made a huge mistake because, one, we have the best O-line. So don't be surprised if Jalen Hurts even get touched this game because now you put, you know, this pressure on the O-line. Now the O-line is not going to want to give up any sacks, any pressures, or anything like that. They, they're they going to give him a lot of time in the pocket. Two, Jalen Hurts is tough as nails. Like, it, I mean, the dude looked like he tore his ACL on a run and he wasn't injured at all. So, um, Robert Slaw, I, no, the, whatever you're talking about is not, is not going to happen, bro. It's definitely not going to happen. You're not going to light up Jalen Hurts. None of your guys. Uh, nah, nah, Robert Slaw. But I'm happy you said it, though, because I feel like this week, 
a lot of us are just skipping over like, yeah, we should beat the Jets and just prepare for the Dolphins. No, go beat the Jets. Take them serious. Because they played the hard game against the Chiefs and won the following game against Denver. Take them serious. And then we focus on Miami. But we have to win this game. I know this game is going to be like a home game. You know we take over MetLife. That's what we do. But, um, yeah, take this game serious. You gave us motivation to destroy this team. Because we was like, yeah, we're just going to beat them. Now we probably got to, you know, destroy this team due to those comments. So, thank you. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel, man, about the news today? Um, I I'm mad that the freaking injury report don't come out earlier because then i could get more of a breakdown so we'll see about the slate thing um how you feel about nicobe dean and uh zach cunningham him just taking Murrow's spot uh, I, i'm not a fan of it to be honest man again I'm, I'm just not a fan of it also jason kelsey saying these dudes might be faking injuries i totally agree but this is eagle al i'm a 